this is what happens when I'm speaking. I just like lose my train of thought. And I don't know what I'm saying. Okay. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Take 5,000. Welcome back to our channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. So today's video I'm going to be talking about the Ear Shop Ever After by Patty. Just a quick note though, if you guys want to know the giveaway winner of the giveaway for Creations by Haley, the Tangled Necklace, and the Pascal, just stay tuned for the end of this video because I'm going to be revealing the giveaway winner then. But I'm going to talk first about this Ear Shop then I'll announce the winner. So just a heads up for those of you who are wondering who the giveaway winner is. So I usually give a little bit of a backstory about how I found out about the ear shop that I'm going to be talking about. So I'm just going to give you a little bit of backstory about this one. So about two years ago, two, three years ago, I'm not completely sure, I dressed up as Lilo and Stitch and I wanted ears to match my outfit so I was looking for Lilo and Stitch ears. So I happened to go on Etsy and I wrote in Lilo and Stitch ears and Ever After by Patty came up. They looked very well made just from the picture and I really liked the design and I liked the material that she used for the ears so I went ahead and placed the order for them. The bow had a green bow but I asked her to do a blue one because I wanted to incorporate stitch into my outfit because I had like blue eyeshadow on. If I can find a picture of myself dressed up as Lilo I will put it right here. So like I was saying, I got these two years ago and then for Valentine's Day this year, I was looking for new Valentine's Day ears because I don't really have a lot of Valentine's Day ears. I was following Patty on Instagram and she posted a picture of her Valentine's Day ears and I fell in love with them. So I was like, okay, let me get some new Valentine's Day ears. And these are the ones that I ended up buying. You guys have seen me wearing them in our Valentine's Day video. I'm kind of that person that when I buy one pair of ears from someone and I see that there are like other pairs that I really want, I go for it and I buy more. So I ended up buying two more pairs, the ones that are on my head and then another one that I'm going to show you in a second. So I'm going to show you guys now the ears that I've been talking about and then we'll talk a little bit more about her shop and her processing and shipping and all that. So these are the Lilo and Stitch ears. I like that they're very puffy. There's a lot of material in there, makes it very fluffy. I like the design of the, the Lilo leaves on her dress and it's very sparkly as you can see and I really like the blue contrast to the red. The green bow does look very nice though, um, but I just thought the blue would work better with my outfit since I was trying to incorporate stitch in it. And this is what they look like on the back. Very cute, very sparkly. These are the Valentine's Day ears that I fell in love with. I love that the Mickey ear is the shape of a heart. And I really like the bow. It contrasts very well with the red sequin fabric. And there's a hidden love on the back, which is very, very cute. I love the little details that people put into their ears. Very sparkly and very puffy, like I said. So if you guys like ears like this, I would definitely give her shop a look through. Oh, they're so pretty. So these are her Dumbo ears, and I fell in love with the color of these. I don't have any Dumbo ears, and I really like the way that she made hers. I love the yellow bow that she put, and look at all the detailing in it too. And there's like a little red gemstone in the middle, and a little feather, and then in the back, there's like some beading over here. The back of the ears are usually not as extravagant, so I really like that she puts like little touches like that in the back of her ears. So if you guys are looking for Dumbo ears, I would definitely recommend this pair. So these are her Tiana ears. I do not have any Tiana ears whatsoever. So when I saw these, I knew I needed to have them in my collection. I love the attention to detail over here. The little flowers and then there's the gold trim over here. Just showing you guys like the shimmer and the sparkle. And this is what they look like on the back again. The back of the ears are just as detailed as the front, which is awesome. I really like this over here. This is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. So these are the pairs of ears that she gave to Sophie as a gift. These are her Frozen pairs. She asked me who Sophie's favorite princess was. I told her she really loved Frozen, Anna, and Elsa, so she ended up putting this in the package for free for a gift for Sophie. I love the pattern that's on the bow, and there's like a little snowflake in the middle. And this is what they look like on the back. Again, there's like beading in the back. Look at that sparkle. You guys know I love sparkly things. I also have two pairs of Christmas ears that I bought from Patty the past December because I wanted new Christmas ears and I really loved the designs that she had. So I'm going to share those with you real quick as well. So these are the first pair of Christmas ears that I bought from her. I love these so much. I love that she has the lights adorned all over the ears. 
the colors just work so well with each other and it just looks like so cute that there's like a string of lights on the ear. These do not light up, but it doesn't even matter because they're just so beautiful. And this is what they look like on the back. There's more strings of light as well. These are the perfect pair of Christmas ears if you ever are looking for Christmas ears either to wear to Mickey's uh, Merry Christmas party or just to wear in your house during Christmas time. This is the second pair that I bought from her. They're like a pair of Santa Mickey ears. They're so cute. It has like the Santa hat. And there's a little bit of holly over here. And this is what they look like on the back. And this is like the perfect Christmassy thing to wear because it's Santa's hat. She also is very awesome in her packaging. She gave me this really cute note. I love what she wrote inside. I just want to read to you guys like what she said because it's really nice. Um, she said, thank you so much for letting me share my creativity with you. Thanks for all that you do, Patty. Um, P.S. I included a little surprise for your little princess, which were the frozen ears that she included for Sophie. So I thought that was really nice that she um, included a handwritten note. So when you order from Patty, you will get a couple of things in the package so you will get this paper it basically tells you like how to take care of your ears um, it tells you that she does make all of her ears by hand so not every pair of ears is going to be the same it tells you how she pays great attention to detail when making her ears and that the ultimate goal is our satisfaction you also can leave her feedback at her gmail and if you post any of you wearing the ears on Instagram to tag her in them because she loves seeing people in her creations. And of course, there's an important note on the bottom that says, do not leave your ears in hot cars. And it just has her little cute Ever After by Patty logo. So I thought that was really sweet that she puts that in there. And this is her cute little business card that says Ever After by Patty. And this is what it looks like in the back. Very cute and very professional. I love that. So Ever After by Patty Ears go from $27 to $35. For what you're getting, I do believe that her prices are very reasonable. She has so many different designs, guys, that I really, really want. And But I'm just not gonna do it because, like I said, I've been purchasing a lot of ears and I've been trying to kind of like step back a little bit. I do want to share with you guys some of my favorites that she does have in her shop that I do have my eye on. So there's her Rapunzel ears that are really cute, Nightmare Before Christmas. She has Monsters Inc. inspired ears. So the shipping policy is a little bit longer than other shops. She does take three to four weeks to ship your ears to you. If you order ahead of time, you will definitely get your ears on time and you will enjoy them on the occasion that you want them to. Like for example, the Valentine's Day ears, I ordered them way in advance because I knew that her shipping policy policies were a little bit longer so since I needed the Valentine's Day ears for Valentine's Day I did order them the beginning of January I did get them on time for Valentine's Day so just for you guys to be made aware of her shipping does take a little bit longer so three to four weeks so that is pretty much it for ever after by Patty ears I do have a lot of ears from her I have eight pairs of ears from ever after by Patty let me know if you guys have any questions about ever after by Patty I will try my best to answer any questions that you guys have about this shop definitely go give her shop a follow she does post up designs that she makes on her Instagram and also just check out her shop and see if there are any ears you want to put in your cart because that's what I do all the time. I put ears in my cart and I just let them stay there for a little bit until I contemplate whether I should get them or not and most of the time I do. So now let's get to the giveaway winners. For those of you who did enter, thank you so much for sharing all that you did with me. I learned so much from all of you about like the movies that you watch as little children, what you would like Haley to create. I'm pretty sure you guys gave Haley a lot of good ideas for what she should be creating in the future. So thank you so much for sharing that with me. So when I made the giveaway, it was kind of like a spontaneous thing. I thought it would be a really nice thing to do and I didn't really want to make like a big deal out of it. Like I didn't put it in the title or anything. So I just thought like whoever watches the video till the end will have a chance to enter. It was really cool to see how many of you actually watched the end of the video and saw that there was a giveaway happening. I also was interested to see who would read the description box because in the description box you had two different ways to enter. The first one was mentioned in the video itself and then the second one was written in the description box. So if you were reading the description box you would know the second way to enter which gives you more chances to win. So the first question I asked was um, what would you guys like to see Haley creating like from what Disney movie movie or non-Disney movie item would you like to see her creating? And you guys came up with a lot of awesome things. And the second question was, what Disney movies or non-Disney movies did you guys watch as children that are not as popular nowadays? And a lot of you gave a lot of good answers. There was a lot of Thumbelina, which I was so happy about. There's a lot of Swan Princess and Anastasia. Someone even uh, wrote, 
Little Nemo in Slumberlands. If, if anybody watched that movie, please let me know because I thought I was like the only one that watched that when I was younger. I, there was a lot of Fern Gully. So it was really cool to see your answers to all these questions. So thank you so much for entering again. There will be a lot more giveaways in the future. If you answered both questions, I put your name in twice. If you answered one of the questions, I put your name in once. So we had 118 different entries. I'm going to go on a random number generator and it is going to choose the winner for us. So there we go. I have 1, 2, 118. Generate. 110. Let's see who 110 is. Here we go. 110 is Melo Melanie M Melanie or Melanie. Oh, Melanie. Melanie, right? There you go. 110 was Melanie. She did enter twice. So this is what Melanie wrote in her I'm really I'm I'm hoping I'm pronouncing it right. It's it sounds like she was trying to write Melanie, but in like a really cool way. So if I said your name wrong, I'm so sorry. But this is what she wrote. I want to see what comment she had left. So she wrote, oh my god, I think Haley should make Avatar the last airbender items. The Avatar has so many important and special artifacts. It's such a great show, and I highly recommend if you haven't seen it. A Disney movie I would watch all the time as a kid was The Incredibles. I know it's well known now. The second movie is coming out soon, but I'm super excited. My family and I would watch it all the time that the CD we have of it is completely scrapped. That movie just brings me memories of the times we actually sit down and watch something together without distractions. That is the best comment ever. Thank you so much, Melanie, for entering. Congratulations. I cannot wait to get you the Pascal Entangled necklace to your home. I'm not a very big Incredibles fan, and that makes me so sad. I think I need to watch it again, but superhero movies are not really my thing, so I think that's why I'm not really prone to liking the Incredibles, but I'm going to watch it just for you, Melanie, and I'm going to give it another chance. And yeah, so thank you so much for entering guys. I'm telling you like I was so happy reading all of your comments like they were amazing So there's going to be more giveaways in the future. Stay tuned. It's actually very very soon We have a giveaway coming up next month, so I would stay tuned for that. All right So thank you so much for watching everybody. I hope these ear recommendation videos are helping you guys out I really hope that I'm not boring anybody with all of the information that I have about ear shops I just feel like I have all this knowledge about ear shops and I want to share them with you guys Thank you so much for watching stay tuned for next week's ear recommendation video and also stay tuned for the awesome challenge we have for Wednesday. Thank you so much for watching and have a magical day. Bye. Yes, yes, yes. I need a haircut. I need to haircut this hair. I just want to make sure the necklace is showing because like why did I wear the necklace if it's not going to show? Those are your ears right there. I need the baby ears. You need the baby ears? Yeah. Okay. You look so cute. Do you like them? Yeah. They're Elsa. Do you look, 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 look at yourself. <laughs> Hi, guys. Hi, guys. You know, everyone loves you. You want to say, I love you to everybody? Yeah. Go ahead. Say, I love you. I love you. Bye. Bye. Have a magical day.